and begin to thank God. Open up your mouth and begin to thank God. Tell him how mighty he is. Tell him how great he is. We give you all the glory, the praise, and the power. For when the praises go up, your glory comes down, Lord. We glorify you, my God, for you are worthy to be praised, my God. You deserve all the praise and honor, the glory, my God. It belongs unto you, my God. But when my you are the pillar that holds my life. Forevermore you reign with wisdom, you reign with power, Lord. God, we exalt you, we worship you. You are the pillar that holds my life. We are worthy for you, are holy, my Lord. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the great I am, you are the beginning and the end, O Lord. We exalt your name, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is no other God like you, my Father. You are high and lifted up. 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 We give you all the glory, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, my God. Jesus for hearing my prayer. Hallelujah. Never let anything distract you from the praises of God. Nothing. Never allow anything distract you from a moment in the presence of the Lord. If you ask a man who's about to die what he wants, he won't ask for money. He won't ask for a car. He only say, all I need is a moment in peace and rest. Ask someone who has been in pain for long, done all kind of surgeries that they can. All I need is time in his presence where there is peace. So as you open up your heart to God, allow God to put a rubber stamp over your life. There is a generation waiting for you. And they wait to see you for them to know the way. Are you sure you can be a representative and lead them to a way that will save generations. Amen. In the morning I was speaking and I was saying this generation the worst thing the enemy managed to do is to destroy the authenticity of fatherhood in a home. The Bible says and Isaac prayed for Rebecca because she was barren. And God heard this prayer and she conceived twins. Isaac did not go to a pastor. She, he is the priest of the house. He is the priest of the house. When he saw there was a problem in the house, he stood on his position as a priest. 
fait vous. Another vision, it says that Isaac prayed much prayer for Rebecca. If Jesus is the Son of God, would pray in the Garden of Gethsemane until he sweat like what was like blood. Amakom. If he did boom, have a deep akom. Akababarus. If if a son of God and God Himself could pray and sweat would come out, what kind of prayer must I pray as a being? If God Himself could pray and sweat would be like blood. We are a generation that talks more about prayer than doing the prayer itself. an invisible hand there are situations you situations you never thought you'd come out from financial situations you thought that was the end you are even thinking of committing suicide says your life is hidden in Christ. I know you have plans. You are doing what you are doing. But don't you know there is a hand working behind the scenes. David says if it was not of the Lord our enemies would have ate us alive. Do you know I know you thank God of the miracles he has done. The things you know he has done. But you need to thank God of the things he did that you do not know. There was a day you delayed to come out of your house. And you realized the same road you went on. They told you a few minutes ago there was an accident. You were supposed to be there. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. We bless your name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you that as we are gathered here. May your grace be seen. Do what no man can do. And take all the glory. In the name of Jesus. I think it was two days ago. 
it was two days ago or a day ago. Remain there for a minute. Two days ago or a day ago. Don't shift from your position. It's called spiritual positioning. Don't shift. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't shift. Don't, don't shift from your position. It's spiritual position. Don't shift. Hallelujah. I heard this in my ear. One of the things the Lord was speaking to me was... I want you to check from where you are coming from. Worship used to be scripture. I was teaching me something. Worship used to be scripture. That is why it had impact in the spirit of it. Hallelujah. I know you love worship. Hallelujah. This is what I heard. With God, with God, with God, nothing is impossible. With God, with God, with God, nothing is impossible. With God, with God, with God, nothing is impossible. With God. With God, nothing is impossible. With God, with God, with God, nothing is impossible. With God, what did that doctor say? What did your manager say? Say about your business. Aye, Ilana mana hine, Alada mana hie, Ile deba, Alane ma, Ilada jaka jike, Ile na na hie na, Alama na hie. Ire de la da hie, Eka, Arada mala kameno. person already knows what is happening. Hey. 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 
meditating in the morning, the word Ichabod. Before the ark returned, there was Ichabod, which means the glory has departed. There can never be a revival of something that was not there. When you hear people cry about revival, something was stolen. Revival is not people falling on the ground and screaming and, 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 and people are speaking in tongues. No, something was stolen. There is a divine nature.
a generation that has become so deep. People are killed with witchcraft in open sight. Hear me? There is a dimension you reach, you understand. There is no one neutral there. Let me leave the supernatural in prayer. There is a level you reach in business. When you reach there, you realize there are principalities and gatekeepers. When you start accumulating a certain dimension, they will invite you into their secret rooms. And when they see that it seems like you are powerful more than them, they will try to check, maybe there is another deity bigger than them you are serving. Spiritually, there is a realm if you can pray. In the room you are praying, said an angel or a demon will appear. There is a certain dimension you can't survive unless there are spirits. You can't. You can't. You can't. Imagine Daniel prayed a prayer. All the demons of Babylon <laughs> gathered for the answer of Daniel because the dimension he has reached. Daniel got his answer. The Bible says the prince of Persia relocated. Demons relocated. This life is not natural. We, we are not looking for salad believers and cooked believers. No, no, no. The Bible says the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They were priests in the temple. But they were sleeping with the maidens of the temple. When people come with sacrifices to God, they would choose meat for themselves. There is, according to God, there is an apportioned peace for the priest but they themselves would pick what they would want am I communicating to somebody they did their own rules their own father in the furniture of the temple in the furniture of the temple there was no chair there was no chair but by the time Eli was old and blind what does the bible say what does the Bible say? He was seated on the temple gate door on a chair. How did he bring his own chair in the temple? This generation has to go back to the precepts of the Lord. There are certain doctrines, certain laws and principles that has been in the house of the Lord that is desecrated the house of the Lord. Who have you ever seen urinating in the well they drink water? People want God to touch them but check how they behave in the presence of God. respect a president more than God. When you say celebrate God, that's not how they celebrate their so-called carnal celebrity. I was looking at a certain show, seeing a lady tearing her top for a celebrity. Somebody who they will never meet, somebody who does not care about them. No, I'm trying to show you how the enemy signs of where the world is going. But everything starts in the house of the Lord. If the watchman is asleep, the thieves will enter. Leviticus 11 from verse 1. 
Leviticus chapter 11 verse 1. Mm. The Lord spoke again mm. to Moses and mm. Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the children of Israel, mm. saying, Among all the animals which are on the earth, these are the animals which you may eat. Mm -hmm. You may eat any animal that has a divided hoof, that is a hoof split into two parts, especially at its distal extremity, and choose the curd. Nevertheless, you are not to eat these. Among those which chew the curd mm -hmm. or divide the hoof, the camel, because it chews the curd, but does not divide the hoof. It is ceremonially unclean to you. And Somebo somebody says ceremonially unclean. Ceremonially unclean. Ceremonially unclean. Ceremonially unclean. Now, as you start the scripture, where we read, the reason why I opened and I said read there is so that you go and read on yourself. Ecclesiastics is one of the books that laws of God are written. Everything that God did had a certain way it was supposed to be done. Everything that God did had a certain way it was supposed to be done. If you read your Bible, God comes to a man called Noah. And God said to Noah, build me an ark. Do you know that God gave Noah the type of wood that was to be used? Jump to chapter 10. The type of wood that was to be used. God gave Noah the type of wood and told him centimeters. The same thing he did about the tabernacles. When they were building the temple, God gave them specific measurements of how it should be done. Specific measurements. Do you know if you miss a measurement, God was not going to come? No, you are not hearing me. How can you live life outside the prescribed order of God? Do you know people have come to a place where when it comes to the house of the Lord, there are things they are now compromising because they are saying this is the generation we are in. That's the generation we are in. No, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> there was a prescribed order. Some was a prescribed order. Of how things should be. There was a way when you are fasting, you are not going to serve your food because you are fasting. That was not the preserved order. When you are fasting, the food you know you eat. So if every day you are eating takeaways, that food, <laughs> buy it. Give it to those without. Now, 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 now already you are seeing your, your fasting temperature has gone down. Be because I know you want to fast, but stinginess is saying no. Because you, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Apostle Paul speaks something. Let us take our Bibles. Let us take our Bibles to the book of Galatians. Chapter number verse 21 Galatians chapter 2 verse 21 mm -hmm. 
I do not ignore mm. or nullify the gracious gift of the grace of God, mm. his amazing and unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. For if the righteous comes through observing the law, then Christ died needlessly. His suffering and death would have had no purpose whatsoever. That is amplified. Yes, right. sir. Which version Can we have the KJ? I want to bring you to words you understand. There is a way things should be done. The same way I was speaking in the morning, that this generation, the enemy has succeeded in destroying the relevance and the essence of fatherhood. So priests are no longer there. That you see more women in church, the husbands are at home. So already somebody is the same way Esau surrendered his authority to Jacob. I do not frustrate the grace of God. Frustrate uh -huh. the grace of God. There is a dimension you can reach where you can frustrate the grace of God. My God. By doing that which is not aligned to what you should do. All right. There are people right now when God is in the heavens, he's wondering what's happening down there. People gather for the Sunday service. They are doing Sunday school picnic. Jesus. The church is a spiritual nightclub. Jesus. The pastor is sleeping with every lady. My God. From ashes, they are exchanging each other. My God. And after that, they lift up their hands. They lift up their hands. Come. Picnic. Holy Spirit, come. times you realize that that's why I always tell people some, sometimes it is the speakers and the keyboard that is happening in church. It's not the Holy Spirit. Because if he comes Paul did not need a crusade to change. One encounter with God made him an apostle. One encounter after that encounter, he did three days and nights. That someone who has been a believer for the last 20 years has never done three days and nights. Paul. The very biggest problem is what we are about to touch. Leviticus 10. So we need now to get into a moment where from where we are coming from, we set order straight. Uh -huh. Leviticus 10. Leviticus chapter 10. Uh -huh. Now Nadab. Now Nadab. And Abihu. And Abihu. The sons of Aaron. The sons of what? Aaron. Aaron. The man who was a priest. His father was a priest. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody. Love His yes, father was a priest ordained by God. So priesthood was their right. All right. They took their respective ceremonial censors. They took their respective ceremonial censors of being priests. Put fire in them. They put fire in them. Placed incense on it. They placed incense on it. And offered strange. And offered strange. Strange what? Fire. Strange fire. Uh -huh. Before the Lord. Before the Lord. Come on. Mm. An authorized fire. An acceptable fire. Uh -huh. Before the Lord. Uh -huh. An act. An act. Which he had not commanded them to do. Which God had not commanded them to do. To, to do. Somebody said the Lord. The Lord had not commanded. Had not commanded. Them to do. That thing you are doing, did God command you to do it? Hey. Did God 
command you to do it. My God. Uh -huh. And fire came out from the presence of the Lord. Fire and came from the presence of the Lord. And devoured them. No, no, no. Let, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Fire came out from the presence of the Lord uh -huh. and devoured them. Repeat it again. And devoured them. <laughs> and they died before the Lord. Let's repeat it so that someone will not say I'm preaching my words. And fire came out mm -hmm. from the presence of the Lord uh -huh. and devoured them. Mm -hmm. And they died before the Lord. And they died before the before Lord. The Lord. These men were priests. Ordained by God. To be priests. They died. Where we read. Did you hear what the Bible says? The Bible says they took their ceremonial censors. Meaning, they came from church and people were gathered on Sunday. We are going to church. We are going to meet God. And what did the pastor do? I have just left the house. After even fighting with the wife. While people are, while people are worshipping God, the pastor was in the office busy. stands on the altar. My God. The same mouth the present worshiper would be using, there is something that mouth was doing. Jesus. Help us, Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that they created a strange fire. Meaning these fires are different. When you, when you say someone is on fire, be very careful. Fire. Which fire? Fire, fire. Ask your neighbor, which fire? Which fire? Which fire? Man? Which fire? Do you care? <laughs> which fire? Which fire? Look at them and say, which fire? Which fire? Do you carry? Do you carry? There are many people in the generation we in that have disobeyed God and deviated from the path of God. I spoke in the morning and I said, you, do you realize that one of the things the enemy has done is to destroy families? Why? Because the generation coming is built from those families. So if he's able to destroy the mother and the father, this child is destroyed. A generation is destroyed. Strange fire. There is a strange fire that has been put. God had to bring fire from heaven to burn people that had brought in strange fire. Do you know Ananias and Sapphira died in the presence of God? About, I'm not talking about the Holy Spirit. P Peter said, you have lied to the Holy Spirit. Ananias and Sapphira died in the presence of God. Uzzah touched the Ark of the Covenant because it was about to fall. The Bible says God was angry. Why do you touch the Ark? You are not a priest. In the presence. You are not a priest. In the presence. You are not a priest. Imagine. It is like a child rebuking a parent. You suffer the ramifications and consequences of, the of your stupidity. Eh. Are you sure this is the Christianity that was passed on by your parents? Or there is something new you are trying to invent? There is a strange fire you are trying to invent. but God remains the same. He remains the same. He is holy. He is holy. 
we have become so comfortable in disobeying God. Somebody say comfortable. Comfortable. In disobeying God. In obeying God. In disobeying, disobeying God. Disobeying God. We have become so comfortable. We have become too comfortable. In disobeying God. In disobeying God. Let us go to the book of First Samuel. Chapter 15, verse 23. Verse 15, verse 23. One of the things God is requiring in this generation, because a lot of people do not understand that most of the things that we are desiring from God, one of the reasons why it is not happening, it is not God does not want to. It is because we have deviated from his ways. First Samuel 15, 23. Now, 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 now. I know already you want to read. But the reason why I'm stopping, I want something to sink. And I want you to be asking yourself this question. Are you walking in the right path with God? Look at your daily life. Look at your daily routine. Look at your friends. Look at your language when you are not in church. I understand you have a church personality. <laughs> you, 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 you are living in deception. You have humble pride. You are, you are a, a, a paradox. A mysterious box. Somebody say what you, they say what you see is what you get. Do you know there are certain things that you speak to them, you think you are intelligent, but you expose your arrogance. Pride is, pride can never rest where there is no arrogance. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's why I told you that the reason many people do not forgive is not because they can't forgive. They are full of pride. Yeah. Because pride will tell you, what? No one can do that to me and cause conflict. No, no. Pride will tell you. So that pride will make it forgive. Where? But if you knew that you do not forgive for the person who has offended you, you forgive for yourself. So, when you look at your life, we read, when it came to sacrifices that were sacrificed to God, God was not looking for any kind of a sacrifice. He spoke what he wanted. There are certain things you would never give to God. He spoke what he wanted. This kind of a generation where we are in even when we talk about the house of God where people say, no, certain things you must not say. As long as God commands, that's what we will say. No, you must also reason uh, people. No, 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 no. We will not downplay God because of you. What is wrong is wrong. What is right is right. This week I was speaking to one man of God and he was unlucky. I caught a prophetic word about something. I, sh I fired it there and there. You call me later, it's fine. You don't call me, it's fine. At least your blood is no longer in my hands. You can continue. Because God has been downplayed and we are seeing people no longer rising. We knew a God that somebody comes in the house of God they can sweep in the house of God give them a month God to start changing their lives what has changed there is a way we are walking 
We knew a God that someone who come. There was no need for outer command of God pray for me. Just bring your sick brother, sick mother. Lay them on the altar when the man of God is preaching. They will be healed without being laid hands. But how would they be healed when even the man of God is full of lust? God knows if 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 something happens here, if 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 this person prays for this person, they are healed. The next thing, you, you understand this thing that has happened to be perfected. You need to do something. I opened to you a scripture in the book of Psalms last week, where God says, "These things you did, I was silent. You thought I was like you." That's Psalms 50. He thought I was like you. So we, we can preach deep messages to people that are not transformed. We teach deep dimensions. I even bring a board, speak about types of angels, how to pray and angels pray with you to somebody who is deeply in adultery. You come, you speak deep dimensions of financial overflows. To somebody who I'm not talking about bringing money to, to the house of God. You, your own spouse, you, the, the level of stinginess. God says, There's someone you know you can't give. What about people you don't know? So, how would there be overflow? Simple principles from the word. Simple principles. Remember the scripture I opened in the morning from the book of Peter. What the Bible says, husbands, don't anger your wives so that your prayers cannot be hindered. And someone who will still be praying in the morning. God is saying, before you pray, go and apologize. Men of God, my prayers are not being hindered. How will God hear you? How can you say you love God? John, John said it well. How can you say you love God whom you do not see? Yet you do not love somebody whom you see. The gospel of Jesus Christ is very simple. The principles are very simple. But the problem, we want things to be done the way we want it to be done. A disobedient generation. Look at your neighbor and say, are you obeying God? Obeying God at them eye to eye. Look at them eye to eye. Are you obeying God? You obeying God. You know your life yeah. behind the scenes. Are you obeying God? <laughs> you, you know you your God? life behind the Are scenes. You? <laughs> you know your life behind the scenes. Well adorned, but rotten inside. I know of a pastor who vulgar language, it is effortless. Effortless. So you wonder, when now James begins to say, a stream cannot bring sweet waters and bitter waters at the same time. It's impossible. Certain things, whether you are on the right or you are on the left, it is time where we get to a moment where we understand the reason why there is a sh shortcutting of the power of God is compromise. People don't love each other. You know it. You know it. The level of grudges in the house of God when you are walking, you have to tiptoe because a landmine might be put. If you've ever been to, you know, where we grew up in church, you would know inside the present worship, there are two camps. You, you are wondering. <laughs> I'm not talking about other departments. Two camps in one church. One Bible, one Holy Spirit. Let's leave that. In a house, there are children that are for the father, children for the mother. 
It's like a team. The day you say fight, <laughs> you'll be surprised. There are some that will be supporting the father. Some will, you wonder, where is this coming from? There is a seed that has been planted from somewhere. The enemy is very good. He understands. The enemy understands. If in these places people are in unity, just like the day of Pentecost, it is easy for the Holy Spirit to fall. The presence of the Lord has to move first in your house before you come here. Don't come here on the altar and you are hearing worship and you are crying. You have never cried in your house there. You don't have time for worship at your house. Time for Bible study at your house. No, this one is deeper than seven dimensions of heaven. This one. Let me show you. Can you read for us? First Samuel chapter 15. First Samuel 15. Verse 23. Verse 23. For rebellion. For rebellion. Is as serious. Is as serious. As the sin. As the sin. Of divination. Of divination. Now. Rebellion. rebellion. Go to KJV. They don't understand this kind of complex grammatical summer sound. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23, King uh -huh. James Version. Uh -huh. For rebellion is the, as the sin of witchcraft. Repeat it again. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. No, 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 no. Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor. I want you to repeat as the, as, 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 as Pastor Fortune is reading. For rebellion, For rebellion. is as the sin of witchcraft. How many witches do we have? Jesus. <laughs> uh, no, go down. Maybe they think it ends there. And stubbornness uh -huh. is as iniquity, iniquity and idolatry. Stubbornness is like idolatry. My God. I know you speak against people that are doing uh, dancing to those uh, spirits in the water. The Bible is saying, as Your long as you are stubborn and idolatry, you are the same. Same difference. When it comes to God, there is strictness in how you deal with the things of God. Eh. Hear me. Serving God, the path is narrow. My God. When you are serving God, the path is narrow. Jesus. Jesus says, Why is the road that goes to hell? And narrow is the road that goes to heaven. When you begin to serve God, you understand, yes, there are stages. There is a child, and there's a moment where you grow now. God no longer just leaves you to do things there is strictness i'm telling you there is a you you in the morning you dress up the holy spirit tell you remove that that is not what that every move you are doing there is a place you reach that every move you do the holy spirit will tell you you are about to eat he says no not now it's painful, but the, uh, yeah, yeah. when the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit, I understand this scripture is not preached much because most of them is we don't want to offend. But stubbornness, stubbornness is the same as idolatry. Worshipping Idols, if you don't understand what idolatry means. And rebellion 
another vision on rebellion, it says disobedience is the same as witchcraft. The reason why people that follow God obeys God no matter how painful it is, it is because no one wants to be a witch in the sight of God. Do you know what witch means? To divert, to bend. And there's a way God deals with people that are stubborn and rebellious. If someone who's new in church, who does not know the Bible, sins, they will confess and God forgives them. If someone who knows sins, God will forgive you, but he will embarrass you. Those are spiritual principles. They are spiritual principles. Some it comes, the worst thing is for it to come later when you no longer have strength to go back to the presence of God. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Any strange fire. 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 Let it be put down. Saving God without integrity has to end. There is a way you present yourself as a servant of the Lord and as a child of God. Without you preaching, when people look at you, they must love your Jesus. But there's a way when people look at you, they can't differentiate. Is this person a stripper? Is this person a harlot? Is this person a con man? There has to be an, a grace, an atmosphere you carry. Do you know that atmosphere that when there are business people and you are among them, everyone will trust you more than everyone else because of the anointing and the grace you carry. That is what believers should be. What does Psalms 1 tell you? I understand you know it, but it must come from your spirit. is a blessing. Somebody say, any strange fire, let it be pulled down. Let it be pulled down. You know how you should serve God. My God. You know it. You know how you should love other believers. You know it. We have a generation of people that want to be forced to serve God. Do you know that? Yes, sir. Yes. I went to that ministry. No, the chairs are not comfortable. Are you here for God or for chairs? No, I, I'm trying to show you certain things. Certain things. There is a way God prescribed it. There is a hunger that must be in you to walk in purity with God. No one must preach holiness for you to be right. Just know this is wrong. You should just know. When you fall, the Bible says the righteous man falls seven times and still rises. Why do they rise? They know the pathway to holiness. So even if they fall, they know the what? The road. That God is holy. This is why I'm speaking this. It's not the usual, but because I am preparing you for a season. Because the only thing, let me tell you a secret. Okay, read Psalms 1. The book of Psalms chapter 1, mm. verse 1, King James Version. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel 
of the what? Ungodly. Meaning they do not befriend themselves with the pathway of the ungodly. Yes. Uh -huh. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. They do not stand. Do, no, repeat that. Do you know many people read that scripture? They don't know what it says. No, repeat it so that we understand. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Meaning, every walking path you walk in life, it is out of a certain counsel. No one just does things. All right. No but there is a blessing for it. Uh -huh. No standeth in no, the way of sinners. No standeth in the way of what? Sinners. David, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Mm. There is a way of sinners. Come on. So when you stand there as if it's a bus stop waiting to be picked up, God is saying, you know this way. Is wrong. Why are you standing there? Come on. You know that channel is a pornographic channel. Why are you scrolling going there? Why did you type it? There was what, what was that channel? That channel. That channel. ETV. Don't try to do as if you are holy here. You knew by 12 o'clock they switch frequency. They switch frequency. You knew it. 12 o'clock, that channel, they start showing those movies. And when not, that's when you tiptoe into the bedroom and reduce volume. What was what pushes you to type that channel? No, you know, you know that after you watch those things, something in your body will no longer be right. It will push you to start doing funny things. You know. But you still go. Not knowing what enters through your eyes enters your soul. It's a spiritual principle. No, I'm teaching a very deep spiritual principle before we go there. Don't stand in the path of the what? No, I said what enters through your eyes. guy a celebrity who they are speaking about his parties that they say the moment is 12 o'clock it's danger hour why are you there you know that the moment is 12 o'clock they don't care it's a man or it's a woman they just do mix masala when are you are there God and you are only two of you. Your, your, your audacious sagacity to visit the man of God when he's alone. There is no even other person or Bamrut. 
and you graciously, dangerously walk into the bedroom. Then you say you are abused. There are certain things that when people speak, I'm asking myself, is there something that was put on top of you for you to go blank? For you to go blank? No, it's a question. This life. Why did you, why did you commit adultery? Why did you commit fornication? It was the devil. Did the devil remove your trousers? You knew it before you did it. That this is what is going to happen. Before that lady came, in your mind, you had already orchestrated. And the movie was the one. It just started with the tip of the leg. Way closer. You knew. And the lady, although she was refusing, she knew. And after that, you see a person now complaining. How do you complain? No, I'm saying this to help a lot of people, even those that are watching online, because there are things we do. There are things we do. There is a way as we are believers, we should present ourselves to the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a way. You are a pastor someone comes and tells you their problems. This was happening in my marriage. This was happening in my life. The next thing is all over the newspapers. How do you expect that person to trust in God again? If they look up to you and they open up their deepest secrets. Many people that are around me, certain things have to die with me. Even if I have information of someone who is supposed to go to prison, it, it dies with me. Because it was out of, there is what is called the confidential secret of a priest. But this, many people have been destroyed and they have died because of the same. Let's speak about the blessing. Uh -huh. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, mm -hmm. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor, stand in the way of sin. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Nor sit in the seat. Why are you seated there? If you know you have a weakness, maybe of alcohol, why do you sit with people that are drinking that, that smell will bring you down? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. At first you be <laughs> no, these are simple things, but the effect of it. Do you know that regret kills more than the action? Yes. Yeah. The devil knows it. Regret kills more than the action. You'll not be saying I'm not ready to go before the the presence of the Lord. I always tell God, I will not do this again. But why are you sitting there? Yeah. I know it's winter. Why are you texting your ex? Hey. You know very well. It is the ex that knows how to cut it. Hey. You know it. Yes. You're busy texting. How are you? Oh, how has been everything? How is your relationship? Uh, oh, uh, oh, it's an open door. Even the Bible says when demons go after cast out, they come back, they check. What's at my house? They see it's empty. They, they won't come alone. Now, they come with strategies. Those mistakes they did before, they won't do it again. They come with seven more demons. Now they are eight. Question paper two. <laughs> this time it won't be heartbreak. It will be heart ash. Heart ash, not heartbreak. You have ever played Mortal Kombat? There is something that says finish you. <laughs> the 
The Bible says their situation will be worse than before. It will be worse than before. Why Man. are you seated there? Why are you seated there? Why are you seated there? You know that you are a, an effortless con man. There are people you must never hang around with. Come on. There, there are certain people that doing certain things is effortless. If they can con you right now, it's effortless. Just words. I heard of a man who sold an air an airport in Nigeria. <laughs> A whole investor paid his life. Now, imagine when I you know there are certain kind of ogres you must never play around when you know you have a weakness. Don't sit. Uh -huh. But in his delight, in his delight, he delights. His delight is in the law. Now, of the his Lord. delight. What is your delight? He, no, no. Look at your neighbor. Ask your him. delight. What is your delight? What is your delight? Is your, de is your delight the ways and the word of the Lord? Tanda. No, 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 no. You love food. Olaba. Olaba. What's your delight? Tanda. What's your weakness? What is that thing that can bring you out from the presence of God? What is your delight? That's why I'm teaching you this is because of where we are going. What's your delight? Amen. If I can call you right now, you hate a business and say 24 hour prayer. There's a reason why I'm strategizing you for this. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and he night. It says day and night. When uh, do you meditate day and night? You meditate in the way the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord two minutes. In this mind, the things it meditates. Many people that are depressed and are anxious. Do you know that that is meditation? That thing that makes you to have anxiety and stress is meditation. Because you keep on pondering upon one thing. But if your meditation can change, that when you are having financial problems, you begin to meditate on scriptures and stories of success. Uh -huh. And he shall be like a tree. He shall be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of Planted water. Planted by the rivers of waters. Now, now, this is what you become. If you follow what I was saying, these are the results. A tree planted by the what? Rivers of water. Uh -huh. That bringeth forth his fruit that, in his season. Meaning there are certain trees that even if it's their season, they don't bring fruit. Yeah. No, you are not here. There are people that even when it is their season, they do not bring fruit. His leaf also shall not wither. No, hold your neighbor's hand. The Bible says his leaf shall not what? Wither. Oh. Is, the, is it a business you have? It shall not wither. Is it wither. a career you have? It shall not wither. Is it a ministry you it have? It shall not wither. Is it a gifting you have? It shall not wither. Is it your spiritual life? It shall not is wither. Is it your marriage? It shall not is wither. Is it your children? It shall not wither. You are not allowed to enter seasons where you wither down. Come on. You are not. But what must you be doing? Whatsoever he doeth. Whatever. Hold your neighbor's hand. Hold your neighbor's hand. Pull it. Come on. Whatever he does. Whatever he does. Uh -huh. Shall prosper. Yana no sign. Nothing shall be impossible. 
do, do you do, read it again? I want to close something. Is he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. No, where we were there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whatsoever he does. Whatever he does. Do you know the word whatever? Whatever. Everything. Whatever. 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 Do you know the word whatever? Whatever, sir. Do you know what uh, whatever means? Whatever. Whatever means swelling stones. Eh? Do you know what the word whatever means? Whatever. You can say what you are wearing is whatever. I will prosper. Someone is not catching up. No, a lot of people think this is a mystery book. You don't know. That is the place we are going. Whatever he does, he does what? I will prosper. Somebody say whatever I do. Whatever I do, I will prosper. I will prosper. Whatever I do, whatever I, I do, will prosper. I 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 will prosper. Whatever I do, whatever I do, this should be your meditation. Whatever I do, I will prosper. Whatever you do, whatever I do, I will prosper. No, you can't tell me. Whatever you know, God, I'm I stranded. do, I will prosper. You are lying. Yes. I, I've come with an antidote. Whatever you do, look at your neighbor, declare into their lives. Whatever, whatever you will do, you will prosper. You will prosper. No, no, emphasize on the word whatever. Whatever you will do, you will do, you will prosper. You will prosper. Uh-huh. The ungodly mm-hmm. are not so, uh-huh. but they are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. No sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Mm-hmm. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Any ungodly person Come yes. on. who was standing while well, you seemed to be drowned, ha, I command them to come down. They must come and down. Amen. In your business, they must come at down. your workplace, come in down. your career, come down. Any ungodly. Was levitating, come down, elevating, come down by the power of the Holy come Ghost. Down. I command them to come, come down. down, and I command you hey. from this moment, yes, sir. arise and shine, amen, 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen.